Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Roxanne, this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 1, because I have not done that yet. And this is the pilot episode. I have watched all of Season 1 and some of Season 2. I just haven't got around to doing it, and I'm doing it now. Apparently since everything's on break until after uh, March Madness. <laughs> Which is happening because everything seems to be on break except for Legends of Tomorrow. I think that's the only one that's kicked in. And maybe the Flash. I don't know. Anyway, let's go over the pilot. Okay. <laughs> so we start off with um, Supergirl backstory how she was on Krypton. So it's got goodbye to her parents. So I'm going to look over after her uh, cousin, which is Superman or Kyle. And basically, her pa got knocked off course. And she was in a Phantom Zone for 24 years and then she finally uh, crash lands on Earth and by the time that happened Kyle L was already Superman so she goes with a doctor family and with the Danvers and she tried to fit in and she so far she's doing pretty good at that and she works at CatGo where she's an assistant to Cat Grant who is a who is basically she's a very insane boss I'll just say that she is a good boss but she's hella insane and Kat is planning to downsize and Kat and Kara's like I don't want you don't do that don't and she's like get me a coffee now okay and then we cut to where uh, James Olsen uh, has his intro and it's awkward moment between him and Kara. Then we have Alex's intro and she is the stepsister. And then, uh, then uh, it's helping her pick out an outfit for date night. So Kara's going on the date and the guy's a douchebag and basically uh, it says like I go to the bathroom and dips out on the date. Which is so insane. And then um, Alex was on a flight and the plane got messed up. And then Kara, uh, she hasn't used her powers in forever. And so she's reusing them to save her sister. So she rescues the plane. And then she is pumped. She's like, I can do anything because she literally can. And Alex is not happy about this. She's like, You need to stop. You need to. Like, what if you were recognized or something? And she just kind of blows her off. And then we find out Alex works. Um, then Alex uh, warns her. And then we have Kat wants uh, an exclusive with uh, the person. And I think she said Supergirl. And uh, Kara's like, why, she can't, why can't it be Superwoman? And then we cut to where Kara reveals herself to win because she's kind of bursting at the scenes to tell someone. So she tells like her best friend in office win, and uh, she thinks she <laughs> that she's a lesbian. That's why he does she doesn't like him, and so she proves herself by jumping off the building, and then um, you know, or falling off the building, and then pop, and then flying back up. And then we cut to the bad guy. And then we cut to where Kara tries different outfits or for, um, you know, for the superhero costume. And then they're trying to save people and then she gets hit with something and gets knocked out and then she wakes up at the D.O. And she gets told that Fort Ross laying up on Earth as well as her pod. And that Kara is mad at Alex because Alex works for the DEO and she's not happy about that. Then we have Kara is mad at the name Supergirl. And yeah, she's she's like, no. And then I cut um, then Kat fires back and tells her why. Basically it's like it relates better to the media or something. I don't really remember that. I watched this like every three months ago and I was just getting to this now. Wow. And then we cut to the bad guy talks to her and then it's bad, bad girl, bad guy versus super girl. And it doesn't go well for her. Then Alex spells her out. Then Kara is done. She's like, I, I quit. I don't want to do this. Bye bye. 
Then Alex talks to Kara, and then uh, she, we find out that Alex was actually jealous of her, and shows her a hologram of her mom, and then Alex and Kara convince Henshaw to let her help, then it's the bad guy versus uh, Supergirl again, and it goes a lot better, and she manages to overheat the weapon, because they find out that the weapon is controlled by heat, and the hotter it is, the stronger heat gets, but Alien goes so far, so she uses her heat vision to overpower him and to basically, uh, it's for the weapon to explode, and then he offs himself, and then James knows about Supergirl and says that Superman told him to keep an eye on her, then gives her a present from Superman, and then, um... Turns out her aunt is a general in Fort Ross, and that was the end of the episode. Okay, this episode, I remember it, I still remember it vividly, and I give this a B plus. I feel like it was a great start. It's just the extras, because this was actually done in Hollywood, so all the extras are actually extra. Yeah, it's the extra being extra. It was like a little too much overacting on the extras part. But, I mean, overall, it was a good beginning of the series. I actually really liked this, um, the episode. It's just that it... No, honey, no. Just no. But, I mean, overall, it was a good episode just uh, just for the extras and a couple of key little things. But I feel like it, the pace was good, the dynamics were good, everything about it was pretty good to me. I actually like Cat Grant's character. It's, Especially when, oh, well, I'll probably get ahead of myself for people who have not watched it. If you have not watched it, shame on you. Just playing. Just get around to it. It's on Netflix. Enjoy it. Anyway, uh, that's going to do for this ep this video. So uh, please go to like, comment down below, tell what you think of the episode, and other shows you, or music or movies you want me to suggest or watch. Let me know down below and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.